As we get set for the second half, we take a look at our first half stats brought to you by Whole Foods. Rebounding, Utah State has the advantage. A lot of the numbers, though, are fairly even, and that's why the game is so close. Hello, Pete Gillen. I'm Tom McCarthy. All right, Pete, so what stands out to you on the, those stats? Right now, the defense of Boise State has to improve. It's very even, a lot of categories, but right now, uh, Utah State shooting 52% from the field. That's too high. So the Broncos want to win. they got to defend much better second half. All right, let's take a look at our at t 5G fast analysis. We talked about the stars in the open. We figured we'd talk about them again because they're starry. The stars, they're shining brightly. Here we go, pick and pop, Kata with the 18-foot jump shot, knock it in, he's in the right place at the right time in the paint. Here we see transition, nice pass by Bean, big guy throws it home, a little touchdown. Uh, he likes it, he likes it. <laughs> Eric Olsen, tremendous player, he's got a good mid-range game, 18 points, he's on fire. Here he comes up, way downtown, knocks it down, he wants to go back to the big depth. In traffic, a tough shot, going left, kiss it off the glass. Two great players having terrific games. Derek Alston, by the way, has nine 20-point games so far this year. He's on the doorstep of number 10. Kada was battling with Armouche early on, but I think he won that battle in the first half. No question, but Armouche is hanging in. I like him. He's got a lot of courage going against this talented young man from Portugal. But uh, I think right now, Tom, player of the year in the conference is Namiyash Kada. Well, and I think Alston is trying to move ahead of him. He's very close. Uh, yeah. I, an eyelash. I got Kader an eyelash ahead of Olsen. Olsen's a great player, too. But I think the key now is which guy, complimentary guy, will come in and help Olsen or help Kader. That's the story. These guys are doing great, but they can't do it by themselves. And by the way, just a reminder, a couple guys out. Dutrieve is out because of a dental emergency for Boise State. Uh, Raleigh Wooster is on the bench in a boot. So he is usually the starting point guard for Utah State. That is why Ashworth is starting. Both play, but Wooster is usually the starter. Ashworth up top to Bean, to Miller. Little touch pass to Anthony, and his th uh, three is no good. Key jab, he may be the key with the rebound. Exactly, Tom. Terrific player. Here we go. That's Here we go. Ray J. J. Dennis. Yeah, we're tied at 39. Again, 900 fans at Boise yep. State for this ball game. It's making noise. That was a big bucket for Ray J. Dennis, the point guard. Get his confidence going. He helped facilitate for his teammates. Oh, man, what about that move? Keeping the pivot foot. Kata. Get the ball to the big dog. Let him eat. Herschel Walker, you know, the big dog from Georgia, football player. Oh, I remember. I was just saying, let the big dog eat. Well, give the big dog Kata the ball. Alston thinking about the answer off the glass too strong bad angle Ashworth with the rebound Here come the Aggies Anthony into the paint step to the bucket off the glass got the roll. It's good Boy, he's playing aggressively a Terrific job Marco Anthony Set out last year late University of Virginia and now Armouche and doesn't get the bucket, but he'll get a couple of free throws. Bean will be called for the foul. Nice pick and roll. Alston does a nice job. Ball to Cater inside. Nice drop step. Boom, go zip. Use the rim as a protector. Left-handed. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Don't be so mean. Don't play so rough, big fella. All right, so Armouche to the free throw line. Pete, does it surprise you that it's 22-22 points in the paint? Sorry, Tom. Do, does it surprise you that it's 22, 22 points in the paint? Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, the Broncos are getting that many points in the paint. You know what I mean? Because uh, usually Utah State's one of the best in the country in defending the two-point shots. All the teams are like 42%. So I'm surprised that the Broncos are doing that well scoring in the paint. Yeah, for Utah State, it's not surprising because they averaged almost 44% of their points in the paint. Armouche makes both free throws. It's a two-point game, 43-41. Yep. I like this. Press them. They'll turn it over. They have 14 turnovers a game. Press Utah State. Got a freshman point guard. He's a good player, Tom, but he's a freshman. Yeah, he is an excellent like player. He's right. young. He's like Bambi. I press Bambi. <laughs> Bambi came out. The <laughs> Here's Kato. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. 
Tom, I got to wear a helmet now. We're not that close to the action. That guy is, what a player. Kata has 18 points. He matches Alston's 18 points. Key jab up top. Ray J. Dennis trying to answer, and Kata got a piece of it, and man, Armouche went to the ground hard, and they're going to get Bean for the foul. Okay. Watch this pass. Nice pass by Ashworth, good finish. Yeah. Terrific hands, good feet, nice pick and roll, perfect pass, Armouche goes up, Kata goes up higher, send it home, big guy, send it home. All right, so the foul was called on Bean, he has three. Miller has three also for Utah State. Yep. Uh, the shot clock at 20 as Alston will in inbound. Key Jeff, get aggressive now. Want the ball. Good player. Alston has it knocked away. Anthony with the defense. Ashworth to Kata. Kata backing his way in, isolating. Little help by Acott. Miller lets it fly. Acott a little shoulder, a little shoulder shake before he got it into the hands. A key jab. Almost attack him down. A nice pass to Austin and the left handed jab. How about that? Nice cut, nice pass by Almush. Eric Alston. Fabulous player, Richard Senior. It's a two-point lead for Utah State. Little high-low. Cato with the catch and doesn't get the finish, but he's going to get a couple free throws. Tom, both these teams, the NCAA tournament teams, no doubt, in my view, and they're dangerous. When they get in there, they're going to do some damage. I think you could say that for all of the Mountain West teams that are going to get to the NCAA tournament. No question. San Diego State's a fabulous team. They deserve to be in a tournament. They're going to be very dangerous. And Colorado State, what a year they've had. Colorado State, as you know, has beaten Boise State, Utah State, and San Diego State, the three of the other top teams. So Colorado State deserved to go. It's been a terrific year for the Mountain West. Milner checks in. Armouche out with three personal fouls. Kata to the free throw line. He's got a season high 19 points. Make it 20. Stepping up once again. Miller, a young player, not that strong. I go inside of Kane again. Keep giving it to the big fella. Alston is off to the right. Acott for three. No good. And the rebound by Utah State with a tip from Kata. Anthony to Ashworth. Ashworth bounce pass inside to Kata, and he's yep. fouled from behind by Milner. Good job. They're looking for him. Looking inside. That's smart basketball by the Aggies. All right, so the shot clock will stay at 23. Tom, when I coach and you're going against a great big guy, and I coach against a lot of great big guys, we play some zones just for a cup of coffee, even though we're in a zone team, just to protect the paint. Have a man and a half around him. There's one guy can't guard him. Yeah, particularly Milner. Nothing against Milner, no. but he's a tough, and he did a nice job there. Yeah, no, nothing against Milner. He's a nice player, but mm -hmm. Cater is a tremendous player. Alston working against Anthony off the screen. They want to get it back to Alston. Key jab, dribbles toward a triple team. Down low to Milner. Milner gets Kata off his feet and feeds the front of the rim. Nice job, Milner. 47-45. Bean, fadeaway jumper, grazes the front of the rim, and here come the Broncos, down by two. To the corner, Alston for three. Got it to go. Easy money, Tom. That's easy money. Look at him. He's talking. The dance. Look at these guys. <laughs> Forget about it. Tom, I'm tight as a clam. I paid it. Go to this, this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't go for ice water. <laughs> One point lead. Kata trying to give Utah oh. State the lead, and he does. With a jam, it's the 
Kata Alston show. Unbelievable. Terrific game. Alston trying to answer, has it partially blocked by Anthony. Here come, comes Miller. Side winding up the floor. Miller from Ashworth. Hmm. What does Iron Eagle call it? A wedgie. Derek Alston, tremendous downtown. That's money for him. Makes it look easy. Here we go. Nice alley-oop. Throw it home. Left-handed. Derek Alston Jr. Bang. But don't forget the big fella. Let the big dog eat. Kata. Bang. Stick with us. CBS Sports Network. Alston for Boise State, Kata for Utah State has combined for, uh, for 45 points in tonight's game. Tomorrow at 8 Eastern, it's a West Coast Conference tip-off. BYU takes off Pacific, followed by another Mountain West matchup. 25th ranked San Diego State takes on Fresno State at 10 right here on CBS Sports Network. Pete and I will be back for San Diego State and Fresno State. And we're going to get a chance to see uh, Shackle. Uh, and Orlando Robinson, the seven-footer for Fresno State. Yes, tremendous young big guy, sophomore Orlando Robinson. And Jordan Shaka, phenomenal shooter, Tom. The best shooters in the country. And uh, right now, San Diego State's having another great year. And uh, they're on their way to the big dance again. San Diego State has arrived in Fresno, so they are ready for that ball game. Well, they're the two gun, the two big guns tonight. And they are really. I mean, Kata, 22 points. One of four Aggies to have a 20-point game this year. Key jab for three. No good. And Kata got great position to get that rebound. It's number yeah. six. See, some of the players haven't taken many shots, Tom, so there's no rhythm. A lot of these guys. Key jab hasn't taken a shot in a long time. Shaver hasn't taken a shot in a long time. He's out of the game now, so. And Kata over the top. No good. The putback, though, is good by Alfonso Anderson. Tremendous guy off the bench. I tell you, I'd like to see him get even more time, Tom. Terrific player. Utah State's bench averages nearly 22 points per game. Key jab has it knocked away, out of bounds. Ooh. Lucky, you only juggle that, got a break. <clears throat> Shot clock is at 20, 13.49 to play here in the second half. I'd like to see Key jab be more aggressive, attack the basket off the bounce. Dennis off the inbounds, doesn't get it to go. Milner keeps it alive before Anderson pulls it out of the air. Miller's wide open for three, in and out. He's been cool tonight. Yep. Mm -hmm. 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. And he's, as you know, he's been shooting great this year from three-point land. He's shooting 43% from downtown. Last year it was only 30%. The year before that, only 35 We talked to Coach Craig Smith, you and I, and he said he really worked hard during the summer, tweaked his shot a little bit. He's had a, a great year shooting from downtown. Baycott helping to run the point. Alston's in the corner to the right. That's a three. That's good. Nothing but that for Ray J. Dennis. He's a guy. Got a big heart. It's only a sophomore from the Chicagoland area, and he struggled last couple of games. A little bit of a slump, but uh, I think he's coming out of it now, Tom. He could be the catalyst. He could be the glue. Well, you mentioned it. it's got to be some of the secondary players that have to come to life. Kata inside. Tough shot. Knocked away. Milner did a great job. Here come the Broncos. Acott looking in. Milner posting up. The runner is no good. Loose ball. Anderson with the rebound. Going to Kata now. He's got a mismatch. Oh, open screen. Here we go. Ray J. Dennis. Splash. He needed that one. That's not his strength. Only shooting about 24% from three point land. Kata got hit. Thought he got hit on the way up. Kata's got three fouls, Tom, that moving screen. Yeah. It's a big key to the game now. Tie score. Tied up at 51. Max Rice back in the game. He's number 12. There's Alston. Working against Anthony. Alston right side of the lane. Cut off at a double team. Turnaround jumper, no good. Anderson with the board. Here comes Ashworth. 
Extra pass to Anthony. And a hand checking foul on the floor. I knew you got to call it. But it's a touch foul, Tom. Yeah, it's, but you got to. It's like Donnie Banks. Donnie Banks, let him play. Tom, we're not here to hold hands. Let him play basketball. It was a touch one. And it didn't disrupt the flow no, of the game. No, Tom. Very cerebral. That's a great comment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tied at 51. 12 10 to play. Ashworth will inbound. Way up top for Anderson. Here's Anthony. Take him now. Mismatch. Little guy on you. Anthony has it knocked away. Dennis with the good defense. I like the vibes coming out of Ray J. Dennis. Defensively, offensively. Body language is better. Yes, no question. Kicks it up top for Shaver. No good. Ball is tipped back out. He can make that. Alston gets his man off his feet. Swings it. They go to the corner. Key jab for three. No good. And a rebound by Bearstow. Anthony in the paint, outside for Anderson. Got it oh. to go. I love Alfonso Anderson, boy. He's a terrific player. Great points off the bench. It's going inside, outside. He is Neither five tonight. Downtown, Tom, right? Both teams are cold. Dennis to the corner. Alston for three. High arcing shot, no good. And Bearstow with the rebound, stolen away by Shaver. Rice for three. The answer. Max Rice. Tom, what a game we got. These are NCAA tournament teams. Mark it down. They're that good. Tied at 54, under 11 to play in this second half. Anderson left alone. Easy two-handed jam. Hey. Got to take his sunglasses off. He's got to play more, Tom. <laughs> Terrific player, Alfonso Anderson. Craig Smith's a lot smarter than me, but I like him. There we go. And key jab, back and forth we go. It's a one-point lead for the Broncos. They've made their last two after missing their last five. Bearstow, right side of the lane. Runners no good. Ball is loose, and here comes Ray J. Dennis. Boise stayed up by one. Rice heads to the basket, off the glass, count the yes. bucket! Yeah. Tom, it's one of the weaknesses of Utah State, is transition D. They don't get back quick. Here we go, and a trade. Downtown, I found Anderson. Splash! Love it! Here we go, Dennis behind the back pass. Key Jam's got something for you, take that out! College basketball on CBS Sports Network is presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. College basketball on CBS Sports Network brought to you by the Mountain West Conference. And it's Boise State on top 59-56 with 10.05 to play here in the second half. These two teams are used to playing these good games. How about last year, January 2020? Utah State up 19 with six minutes to play, and then Boise State woke up, Pete. Unbelievable. He came back to way downtown, knocking down shots. Unbelievable. Great comeback for the Broncos. They win in overtime, Tom, as you know, 88-83. Mm. Different circumstances. We got another great game tonight. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get to that point total. We might. And yeah. it's an important game because this is these are the standings in the Mountain West Conference. Utah State sits atop 11 and 2. They've been off for 13 days. Yep. Boise State at 12 and 3. As Pete mentioned, tournament team, NCAA tournament teams, just as Colorado State is right now, San Diego State is right now, and Nevada is knocking on the door. Yep. Max Rice finishes off this three point play. Yep. He has six quickly That's for great. Boise State. Well, he and Ray J. Dennis had been struggling a little bit. Tom, the last few games, it's great to see them step up in this big time game. Kate is back in. He has three fouls. He's number 23 for Utah State. He's yep. their best player. Yep. Go right at him. Go right at Kate. Try to get the fourth foul. That's a good look to Bean, who lays it in. That's the 13th yep. assist for Utah State. Yep. They share the ball really well. Key jab. Blocked from behind by Kata. The ball loose. Boise State has it. Armouche. I'd run a pick and roll, bring the big guy out. Extra pass for Rice, is he hot? Ooh. Too strong. 
Bean trying to tie it or give Utah State the lead. Ashworth off the screen by Kata. Ashworth leans in, doesn't get the roll, and Kijab, I believe, touched that last. Yep. Kata is one of the top shot blockers in the country. He blocks three a game. Here we go. Goes in, gets a little piece of it. Kijab, tremendous shot blocker. Three a game, sixth leading shot blocker in the country. Is there, is there a science in going after a shot blocker like that? Is there? Yeah, you, you got to attack. You got to take it to the chin. You can't give them the angle. You got to go at them. They're not doing that. Shot clock at seven. Off the glass, no good. Shaver with the rebound. Push it now, Broncos. Utah State's not great in that transition game. Halston is on the bench. He's the leading scorer for, for Boise State. Key jab, a little jab step, jumper is no good. And the ball tipped to Bean. Push it. Look at the big guy, Kate is running. Get him the ball. Ooh, Get the big it. guy the ball. Yeah, he wants it. And a foul from behind. Armouche called for the foul. That's number four on him. Armouche, good, good job. Yeah, we look at Kate is running the court. You can just see his feet right away before, right? The big guy, Armouche, can get position. Great job by getting the big guy the ball. Kata, tremendous player. What a future he has in basketball. Ashworth back to Kata. Kata working against Milner, running in the lane, gets the roll. Kata with 24. Tom, it's Kata's world. We're just passing through it. <laughs> He's the man. It's been enjoyable passing through it, oh, though. Oh, boy, I like a little glimpse of that. Kate has matched his career high in points with 24. Tied up at 60. Shaver. Ray J. Dennis step back three. And it's good. Oh, he's it. Tom, you remember last year, he got 19 points in a comeback win. Ray J. Dennis, he's back. <laughs> he's back. Now seven threes for Boise State. Take him, big fella. And Kata does. Quick step and over the top of Milner. Career high now, Pete. Yeah, he makes the game look easy, Tom. There are times where he really does make the game look easy. It's like a little uh, Nerf ball set, you know, in yep. your bedroom. He's like nerfing it. Pull up jumper is good by Shaver. Now we got a little flow offensively. Yep. <laughs> Three point lead. Double screen set by Kata. Ashworth for three, no good. Ball is loose. Milner keeps it alive for Boise State. And to the floor is Anthony, and he calls a timeout. Kata backing his man in. Nice hook shot. Oh, what a touch. Boom, boom, boom. Rim is kind. Ray J. Dennis stepping back. Yep. Sophomore, boom. Got a great one here in Boise. Stick with us. Time now for the State Farm surprisingly great play of the game. How about Namiish Kata? He was surprised that that ball went right back to him, but he was ready. Down. The ball found him like a laser. He has 26 points, which is a career high. He also has six rebounds. He has three personal fouls, and there's something to that because foul trouble is looming for both squads. Yep. 12 of those, uh, 12 of the 26 points have come in the second half. Here's the foul trouble. Now Armush has four. That's big for the Broncos. Milner's done an admirable job inside. But you have three players with three fouls for Utah State. Question is now when do you get almost back in the game? Tom, you know what I mean? So you don't want to wait too much too much time right now 646 I go five minutes. I put him back in if I'm Utah State. I'm going inside to Kata. Give him the ball. Let the big dog eat. Give him the ball, please Beans to the baseline he gives it to Kata outside his 15 footer no good and Shaver with the rebound That's not the shot I wanted I'm coach Craig Smith He's done a, a great job for the Aggies last three years Halston, by the way, back in. He has 23 for Boise State. He's number 21. This is Key Jab. 
Bounce pass, that's a tough one. Milner couldn't stretch to get it. That was a yep. tough pass. Yeah. 65 62, 615 to play in the second half. Mount West basketball at its best. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Army National Guard. The next greatest generation is now. Well, to say we've seen some athleticism in this game is really an understatement. Out of Boise State. Utah State and Boise State coming up next. Join the Inside College Basketball crew. We'll talk all things hoops and the road to the Final Four right here on CBS Sports Network. They're going to have fun with this game because there's been so many different highlights, Pete, that have been enjoyable to watch. So Adam Jack. Zucker and the guys are standing by. Yep. Top players having great games, right, as well as now the complimentary guys are really stepping up, which I love. Marco Anthony doing a wonderful job for the Yankees. Oh, ah, not a good foul. Yeah, Alston called for the foul. Tom, I like the idea of pressing. I think you can bother Utah State by pressing them. They don't like that. You might not steal it, but you get them out of sync. Don't let them walk it up and throw it into the big guy. I don't want them to do that. Alston's got to put a little more pressure on the, the dribbler. Anthony covered by Alston out to Ashworth for three and it's off the front of the rim key jab with the rebound not the shot you wanted get the ball to Kata guy was defending Ashworth it's a freshman mistake and Alston has it blocked by Kata it's going to be a jump ball and the possession remains with the Broncos Yep. good defense that time by the Aggies let me correct that. It goes to the Aggies. The officials switched it. Yep. Referee gave a different signal. Five and a half to play in the second half. It's a three-point game. Bean to Anthony, and Milner is going to be called for the foul, working against Kada. That's the sixth team foul for Boise yep. State. It's going to be big down the stretch. Both these teams shoot about 72% from the free throw line. Pretty even in the charity strike. <laughs> Miller off the three. He's fouled and will go to the free throw line for three. Good call. Nice out of bounds play by the Aggies. All right, so the foul is on Kijab. Where was his foot, Pete? Oh, yeah, it was he behind. He got his line. wrist, I thought. Yeah, he, he definitely got, got his wrist. He definitely hit his wrist all right so Miller who is 81 percent now they've switched it they said it's a two-shot foul yeah his foot was on the line and he missed the first one 81 percent and he missed the first one that is the uh first miss or second miss of the night for Utah State from the free throw line this two. two that is shocking but the rebound for Utah State Miller for three that's too strong Kato with the rebound can't give the Yankees three chances no we'll make you pay down by three little double team Kato skips out of it inside for Anthony five minutes to play Anthony turnaround oh. jumper is good it's a one-point game Marco Anthony's doing a great job for the Yankees really stepping up playing with a sense of urgency it's a big big game for both teams now they want to improve their net they want to build their resume for the postseason key jab Kato with the help Dennis shot clock is under 10 go by him Shaver for three way Shave is a tremendous three-point shooter. He hadn't had many looks. And Ashworth called for the traveling violation. It's a four-point lead for Boise State. And they'll get the basketball back. 
How about this move? That's a nice move. Bridges man in. Left handed. Fades away. Splash. Shaver from way downtown. <laughs> Boom. Very good three point shooter. I go back to him, Tom. I think he's feeling it. He's a streaky guy. Done something for Shaver now. Shaver has nine. Alston leads the way with 23. Armouche back in. He has four fouls. And Dennis to the basket. Count the bucket and a foul on Kana. They went to Shaver. They said a, a double screen for him. Stagger double. It's great coaching by Leon Rice. Get to the ball to the hot guy. Here he comes off two screens. Mm. Go by Miller. Attacks the cup. Nice finish. Transfer from Portland. Tremendous left hand going at the big guy. That's four on Kata. Yep. And Shaver trying to pick up his 12th point. He's the second Bronco into double figures. And he does. Oh. 70 to 71 64. Yep. You got to keep him out there with four no feet. No question. No, you, you don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard. You know what I mean? Put him in and just try to be politically correct. Craig Smith, the fabulous coach. Say, hey, be smart. You're going to run horns next time down. Right? Horns. Two big guys up top. B looking into Kata, covered by Milner. Isolation, no help. Kata off the glass like a Nerf ball, as Pete said. Great call by Craig Smith. Coach Smith called that play. Tom, right? They got it. Good execution that time by the Aggies. 71-66. The largest lead tonight for Boise Ooh. State was eight. That was in the first half. Acott was wide open. Here he is. He was wide open going to the basket, and he's fouled from behind. He's great off the bounce, Tom. That's what he does best. Attack the rim off the bounce. Transfer from Wasatch Academy. High school. University of Arizona. Kata, the big fella. Makes one way. Bang. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Seventy-three, sixty-six, with three twenty-six to play here in the second half. Tonight's player of the game brought to you by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Yes, Utah State's trailing peak, but Kate has been outstanding. Kate has been unbelievable. Career high, Tom. He's blocking shots, changing shots, scoring inside. He's been unbelievable. Twenty-eight points, eleven for eighteen from the field. Terrific. What a great job. Once again, the game ain't over, but he's been fabulous. Seven rebounds. Now, the other part of the storyline, he has four personal fouls. Yep. Yep. He's been great, but right now, not enough. He's got to get some more help. Here's the foul trouble we just talked about. Arbush has four as well. Still a long way to go. Arbush, by the way, is back in. <clears throat> and Acott goes to the free throw line. Front end is good. That's been a storyline where the N1 is good. It's 12 for 12, or they're 12 for 12 from the free throw line. 74 66 matches the largest lead of the game thanks to a 9 2 run. They don't want to double him, Tom. They don't want to give an open three. Almost got his hands full. Oh, good call. He got fouled. Good call. That'll be number five on Armouche. It's a good call. He bided him. Back his man in. Pivots. No, bumped him with his chest. That's a good call. Yeah, their feet got tangled up also. Yeah. So Armouche will leave with eight points. Eight points, seven rebounds for Armouche. The foul trouble sort of knocked him off kilter. Yeah. Once again, he's going against arguably the player of the year of the conference. Got a great shot at it. Him or Alston, Matt Mitchell from San Diego State's a great player. Been injured. You know, so there's other candidates for sure. Katie tonight. 
Seven for seven from the free throw line, 29 points. He's one point away from reaching 30 for the first time in his career. And it's the first time in his career that he hits 30 points in a game. It's 74-68. Ashworth is back in. A little full court pressure now by yep. Utah State. Two possession game. Got to dig in now, Aggies. Get a stop. Shaver nearly walked with that. I go to Alston now. Go to your best player. Let him touch it. Acott working against Bean, one on one. Acott cut off in a double team, tried a tough pass to Milner's. It's knocked out of bounds by Utah State. Yeah. Alston's got to touch it, Tom. Go to your best player. He's having a great game, got 23 points. He's got to touch the ball. He doesn't have to shoot it every time, but he's got to touch the basketball if I'm the Broncos. And a timeout called by Boise State. 74 68. It's a six point game. We'll be back with 244 to play. Reset Boise State is on top 74 68 two timeouts left the possession arrow goes to the Broncos Leon Rice 214 wins the most in Boise State history past Bobby Dye in the same amount of games that Bobby had won 213 Shot clock is at five a cop step back three lets it fly no good rebound Kata number eight yeah. Olsen got to touch the basketball. What's the matter? Trying to go to Brock Miller, see if we can get a three for Brock Miller. Great three point shooter. He's 0 for 5 tonight from beyond the arc. That's a huge storyline. Kata knocked away by Milner. Kata underneath gets his way to the basket, tries to force his way in. Milner's able to defend him nicely. Broncos got a break then. That was halfway down. Two minutes to play. Make that time. They go to Shaver coming off the screen or Alston clear out. Shaver's number zero. Alston's 21 for Boise State. Shot clock is at five. Acott inside to Milner. Stumbling to the basket. Lays it in. Beautiful play by Milner. Great pass. Great catch by Milner. He has really played well. Yep. The lead is eight and a timeout called. 134 to play. 900 sounds like 19,000 at Boise <laughs> State. Pete, it's time to revisit your keys to the game. Were you a good prognosticator for tonight? Fair. I'm a C-plus student, Tom. Uh, Utah State, they carried a rock. They did. 12 turnovers. They averaged 14. Owned the glass. Yeah, they Win in the Battle of Wars by about six. Uh, Broncos get hot from downtown. Eight to 22 is pretty good. Get Caden foul trouble. Yes, they did that. Got four fouls. So uh, Broncos did a pretty good job on their keys. Utah State just fair on theirs. Well, we still have a minute 44 left uh, in this game. A minute and a half left in this game. It's 76 68. You saw some of the fans. We mentioned going into the break. 900. It's the first yeah. time this year that there have been fans at games at Boise State. You know, this is a very good home team. Yep. They haven't lost in 366 days at home. Yep. Yep. They're, they're great at home. Tom, 9-0 uh, this year, as you mentioned before, right? 21 out of 22. Last team to beat them was San Diego State in February last year. Off the timeout, Ashworth looking for Kata, working against Milner. Kata into the paint, off the glass. No good, it went in and out for the second time. Yep. The slam dunk went in and out yep. a moment ago. Yeah, yep. Couple of good bounces for the Broncos. Is it time to start thinking about fouling if yeah, you're you got a foul Utah now. State? Three possession game. I would foul the young guy. Gotta give one. It was a foul, We're trying to foul. She's a little keep away. Yep, you got a foul. I fouled Ray J. Dennis. Down three possessions, eight points. Acott's open for three. It's no good. Bean with the rebound. Gotta push it, Aggies. Here's Anthony back to Bean. Bean for three. It's no good. And a rebound is taken out by Ray J. Dennis. Alston on the alley oop. He couldn't finish because the foul from behind on Bean. Tom, I would have brought it back out then. The clock's your best friend. You don't need an alley oop. 
AJ Dennis, I know you're up eight. It's not over yet. You're in great shape. Pull it back out. No, you don't need it. AJ, no, not a good decision. Got a break on that. And by the way, look at Bean going right over to Alston because yep. he, he wanted to make sure he knew that no. he didn't foul him to hurt him. No, he's a great young man. Alston to the free throw line. Broncos are 13 for 13 from the free throw line tonight. Trying to make this a 10 point game. This right now is the largest of the night. Yep. And coming back against Friday night, another one of these games. And the first miss of the night, I blame that on Pete. Nine rebounds for Kada. Need a three now. Need a three. They go inside to Kada. And Kada will get a chance for a three point play as Milner came down on top of him. Yep. They let him go. Milner's done a great job, Tom, but that was not a good decision then. Pick and roll. Both guys go with Anthony. Pump fake. Nice finish for the big guy. Milner's late getting back. There's no help, no rotation. Acott should have been in there to help out Tom from the weak side. Now it's not over yet. If he makes this, it's a two possession game. Yep. Put the pressure on, try to get a steal. 77 70. Kane is 8 for 8 from the free throw line. Make it 8 of 9. Alston with the rebound. And now they're trying to foul him, and they do. Ashworth fouls him. And he is the best free throw shooter. He and Shaver for Boise State. Yep. That hurt. Again, each team is playing without an injured player. Dutree was so good defensively and is uh, continuing to get better offensively. Dental emergency for Boise State. Meanwhile, Raleigh Wooster, the starting point guard for Utah State, is in a boot on the sidelines as Alston converts the front end of the one and one to make it 78-70. Yep. There's Wooster. There's Wooster, yep. It was a big loss. 10 points a game. Freshman from Montana. He's had a great first year. Second shot is good. Three possession game. Three threes would tie it. Not a lot of time left, though. As Miller loses it out of bounds, it'll be Boise State basketball. How about the job that Boise State's done on Miller? He's 0 for 5 from beyond the arc yep. tonight. Yeah, he did a great job. He's a catch and shoot guy. They keyed on him. Remember, Tom, as you know, Tim Duria used to coach at Utah State, is an assistant now mm -hmm. for the Broncos. There's Tim right there. Right, tall guy right there. Three years he was the head coach at Utah State. Long time of assistant. Duties. You know, now he's uh, with the Broncos, and uh, I'm sure he was a big part of the game plan. But he's a terrific coach, a class guy, and I'm glad he landed uh, at Boise State. Take a listen to the uh, crowd, Mike. Yeah, it should be D. As the officials are coming over just to make sure that the ball is indeed tough. Boise State's basketball. They can do this with under two minutes to play. Exactly, last two minutes. <laughs> I think they're smart doing this. Definitely. Did Alston touch it there? Or did Acott touch it there? It almost looked like it went right yeah. between Acott's legs. Good mark. Yeah. Nah, I think looked it might like, hit his leg. Yeah, it looked like it had another it. angle on half. Is that key jab, Tom, there, 24? I thought it was. Let's see who was that? Yeah, it's key, key jab. jab. Yep. Yep, I said ACOT. It's key oh, jab. That is tough to tell. That is tough to tell. Now, they called it Boise State basketball. I don't know if you can tell there, Pete. I really I don't. I not tell. No, I agree. Too tough to tell. See if the ball rotation changes. Boy, it. It may I don't have think hit, touched it. Uh, it. It may have hit the, the pants, the pants but who knows? Tough to tell. Yeah. 79-70 with 22.1 to play. And it's going to be Boise State basketball. I don't think there was enough to overturn it. I agree. Couldn't tell. Like it might have gone through his legs. Good they checked it out, though. Yeah. Mm. 
Full court pressure by Utah State. Just probably not enough time left in this yeah. game. I don't think they get a foul. I don't think so. They hadn't played in 13 days. We wondered how sharp they would be. I don't think that had much to do with it. Maybe for Miller, who was scoreless from beyond the arc. Yep. That was a big part. They defended Miller. Did good job defending. Leon. Great win for Leon Rice. Great win. Three and three in their last six games. So this is a giant win for the Broncos. He's done a heck of a job at Boise State. He was at Gonzaga for 11 years as Mark Few's assistant. He said that was tough leaving Gonzaga because he, his family and the Few family were so close. Yep. Like said, a wonderful job here, 11th year at Boise State. He's the dean of the Mountain West coaches. Ashworth and Anderson for three. It's an air ball, loose ball, picked up by Utah State, stolen away by Ray J. De oh, excuse me, Shaver. And that'll do it. Boise State wins it by a final score of 79 to 70. These two teams will face each other again on Friday, but at least for now, the upper hand goes to the Broncos, their 17th win of the season. And the 900 fans who all they could have, could have done, look at that, that's a great reaction by the, the team. Yep. First time fans are in town, getting a chance to watch them play. And they now have 13 wins atop the Mountain West. Great win for the Broncos and Derek Olson wants to go back to the big dance. He took a step in that direction tonight. The final score, Boise State 79, Utah State 70. We'll have some more from Boise when we return.